Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Dream Daddy. I am the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Yin and Young. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Tyrion Cosplay. And I'm Cozy. And I really don't know what we were up to. We hadn't gotten quite to routes yet on this new run of the daddies. But we're gonna get one of them daddies we didn't get previously. Time to can time. Oh, God. Where are we? You know what? We were at Hot Topic, or Bed, Dead ah, Goth and yes. Beyond. That yeah. was what it was called. We are meeting Damien. Yeah. That is right. Damien. Yeah. All right. Were we rearranging voices at all? Yeah, like, who was who? I don't remember. I remember I think previously. we were rolling. Oh, right. okay. So who got who so far? Okay, Cece got Brian. Yeah. I okay. got Craig. Okay. We met other people, right? I think I got Robert. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm usually Squidward anyway. I, I'm pretty sure I was Mary. Okay. Yes. I mean, I can... Was I Joseph? Yes. Okay. Again? Again, yeah. All I'm right. just, I'm always <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> I don't think we rolled for that one. I think you just took it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll just keep rolling. So and anyone see what's... could be Damien. Yeah, well, I think I'm the only person who hasn't gotten a daddy yet. Oh, Maybe that's true. You Maybe you it. should. I was do Damien do last your time. Dimitri voice. Yeah, Chibi's not a daddy. Oh yeah, Chibi. Oh yeah, yeah. But oh, if true. we do Damien's route, uh, we would not be able to have Chibi do both. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Goth and Beyond. Pursue, th peruse the band t-shirts, look at ironic mugs, check the clearance bin for hot deals. I feel like that oh. would have been our move last time. Yeah. Um, how do we feel? What do you guys want to do? Look at those ironic mugs. Hmm, we yes, are yes. a daddy. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm suddenly stricken by an existential fear. If there's only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here to s that say that? This whole time I thought I was the only one. <laughs> if I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking charts? Depends on the ending. We, we can usually be pretty good or we can be okay. I have to... I have work to do. Oh, you can make Amanda, like, hate you and never speak to you again. I, I do want to do Amanda Hates Us route. I don't. <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay. Um. Completionist in me says yes, but love Amanda says no. Yeah. I don't think go you can, like, have a romance route when that happens. So. Really? <laughs> okay, so that's the last route ever. Yeah. Well, so that's, like... That's like the thing is like none of these self-respecting dads would want to be dating What's someone a who's a bad dad. <laughs> I guess yeah. that's fair. Except okay. Robert's a bad dad. Yeah. I, I guess last route would mm. be Amanda hates us. What a thing to end on. Anyway, um, are we rolling for this again or what are we doing? Is this the dad or the kid? This is Damien. Okay. Chiz, between you and me. I think. Hmm. Yeah, As yeah. far as getting a dad. Tell okay. me even or odd. Even. It's 13. Okay. I, I get it again. Which do means I, Chips I, gets to be Hugo. Do I do or the same Matt. thing from last time or do I try something yeah. else? What were you doing last time? I was doing Mento. Oh, Mento! Look, this is very important to me. <laughs> I overhear a stifled argument over at, at the cash register. An older gentleman is older, mm, <laughs> carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. <sighs> Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. If you want a coupon, I can give you a cu coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? How many times can you say coupon? Is there a manager present? 
People have to know what they're being. I am the manager. Oh, I see. Well, it would seem that I've hosted my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can tell if they they are Victoria-inspired or Edwardian in nature. A man trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Was I still Amanda? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Dad Chon 5000. I think it's maybe we should have changed it up and you should not be my daughter. I've been just, her. Just for a personal thing. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one thing. One this time. Man plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. Cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. What was that guy's deal? Cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll, she, she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Man and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch our watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Oh. Also, the trucks are haunted. Honestly, that sounds like a fun show. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Cattleman, Flint, Dogbone, the twin brother trucking, truck driving and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost done got control of the truck. I can't stare on them their damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. Ah, uh, almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, you're going to die. Hmm. That's because we're about to die, you. This is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments <laughs> on the internet. Do you remember Digimon the movie with some of the lines on there? It's like, did you see that? No, I was sleeping. But you're driving! Yeah. <laughs> I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Who was Envy when we played last time? I don't know that we had one yet. I don't think Envy had showed up yet. Yeah. Because we have Matt and Hugo left. I guess. True. <laughs> but wait, didn't we already meet Hugo? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Who was Hugo? Hugo. Maybe it was Envy. We'll say it's Envy for now. Morning, sleepyhead. I have more minutes. You have never, ever let me have five more minutes. So, get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk. This is reminding you guys of anything? Yeah. yeah. But I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So, you excited for the cookout today? Excited to beef up my grilling skills. If that's if food, I'm excited. Eh. Do I you like want to be a grilling food? dad? I like food. All right. Okay. I'm all over those terrible store-bought <laughs> sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Me too. Mm. Yes. So good. Yeah, those are bad. You no, they're, they're good. The trash. Which, <laughs> which means there are more for me. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? Nope. Yeah, I'd probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. We were invited to a cookout, right? Yes. We didn't go though. No. I was working. Yeah. 
Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. I'm a handsome work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. Oh. The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. My, we definitely don't want to be late. Whoa. What? You think no. Amanda was envisioning her dad starting a harem when she wanted him to get more social? <laughs> Who knows? You did this, Amanda. You did this. We have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. <laughs> I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook and it doesn't even involve a grill. Mm. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I set out our veggie plate down on a table and next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Oh. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. What was that moan? <laughs> Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Hi. This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Hi. Hello. Ugh. <laughs> they start creeping and say nothing. Hey. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Krish. Wait, where is Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh no, it's the woman from the bar the other night. What is she doing here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Aww. Joseph pecks her on the cheek, she smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart. Did he put Krish to bed? Aww. a little concerning they don't know where the baby is. Yeah. yeah. Chippy, you there? Yeah. Aren't sorry. You married? Brain. Yeah, no. Sorry. I'll have to go look for him. What? You'll have to? Just takes a moment and regains his composure. <laughs> Mary, this is our new neighbor Squidward and his daughter Amanda. Ah. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I love her. <laughs> nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Ever. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so Damn. awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder she's if Mary knows supposed Joseph to be knows. holding something there? I think she I think... wants to go grab wine. Yeah. Her hand was really awkward looking. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. Takes all my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Ha ha ha. My wife has a wonderful sense of hum humor. But please... Does she? Yeah, mm, I don't know. <laughs> but please, you two, enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Here, let me introduce you around. Have you met Matt yet? Who? Hey, Matt, come meet our new neighbors. Where's the other T? This is Squidward and Amanda. Amanda and I both give him a wave. Hey. Oh. Who gonna be... Well, Chibi, you're the only one left, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess so. Uh, hey, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you two. Matt runs the coffee shop down the street. He bakes a mean carrot cake. Wait a minute, wasn't I Matt in the last one, too? Hey, man, I was <laughs> Damien last time. Gav was Joseph. It's, you know, things happen. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm not complaining. He is my favorite. I was just about to say, he's like you anyway with the coffee thing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Matt grins sheepishly. He also knows everything about music. His record collection takes up the whole wall of his house. That's me. The music guy. That's a bit of an understatement. He also used to be in a... <laughs> I'm just the music guy. Always stoked to discuss music. Uh, tunes. And stuff. He was in a Backstreet Boys ripoff band. 
So well, that's so you were in a polka cool. band. I love music. Ska we were, band. Ska band. Ska. Yeah. You show some respect. <laughs> no. The, what was it? The Communist Manifesto. Manis- Communist Manifesto. Manis- Manifesto. That was, Manifesto. That was Manifesto. Squidward. There we go. <laughs> that was Squidward, though, not Matt. Yeah. We were Communist Manifesto. This guy's clearly something else. Yeah. Matt's here, seem to perk up. Oh, yeah? What kind of stuff do you listen to? Ska. Dad rock. Top tier stuff. Almost exclusively songs about being sad. What is dad rock? Um, oh, I don't Dad know. rock used Angel? to be Clarence Creek. Clearwater Band. Yeah. Um, Creedence now Clearwater Revival. Revival. That one. Yeah. John so, Fogarty, gotcha. So now, Bad Moon Rising? Yeah, what? Bad Moon Rising, the original Proud Mary, uh, Fortunate Son. I Put a Spell on You. That is that Midler <laughs> song, How Dare You. No, but they did a cover of it. Well, it it belongs to Bette Midler. Yeah. Same way that anyway. uh, Proud Mary now w- belongs to Tina Turner. It honestly does belong to Tina Turner. That was the old Dad Rock. Dad Rock now is uh, Nickelback. Oh. You know what? Congrats, I just old. I don't need to know that kind of thing. I just don't need to hear that kind of thing. That's, you know. I miss exclusively I mean, songs. I feel like Nickelback sad. became cringe back in like 2015. They oh, came when we were in middle school. It's it was always been 2010. Cringe. I like what are you talking back? about. <laughs> so what are we saying? Sad songs. Okay. We're all die. I think we should okay. do sad songs. If it forces me to think about my own personal shortcomings or understanding that feeling sad is a unique is as unique as it is universal, and that there's a certain comfort in knowing that, then I'm all over it. Hey. Honestly, that is a very Squidward answer. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, me too. <laughs> that gives me a high five. Cool. All right. Matt stands there for a second. So. 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 Right. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll uh, be making the rounds. Feel free to stop by later. I hate that his pants have two buttons instead of a zipper. <laughs> I have pants like that. Yeah. Is Helps he you get a- out of them faster. Yeah. Is he as afraid of people as you are? He might be. Wow. I think I've actually met everybody else. Oh. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick out some tickled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Same. Oh, I don't want to have to make <laughs> friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I'm off to school? But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. <sighs> Dad. Oh, they're going to talk about weather. Go do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. Yeah. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. I'll kill him. <laughs> Manda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Why are you surprised? They've been there the whole time. Yeah. Oh, it's the coffee guy. Or is he the music guy? We, we just, just spoke him. to him. Yeah. <laughs> my God. Did I meet that guy at the bar? Yeah, that didn't go well. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? That didn't go so long either. Isn't <laughs> you know the guy who was thrown a fit at dead goth and beyond? We didn't even talk to him. Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. There we go. <laughs> Wait a second. All these people leaving our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Okie doke. Dr. Need... Robert and Brian. No. Who do we need Dr. that we have to ask? Craig. <laughs> Talk to Joseph and Damien. Okay, so Burger time. clearly we need Matt, Hugo, and Craig, right? Because there are two guys we haven't had, correct? Yes. In that group? Yep, that is the best odds. Let yeah. us go. Or, hear me out here, food. <laughs> we could. What should we do? All right, we'll socialize. <laughs> <laughs> I just give an owl a look. <laughs> hmm. Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Oh, I think this was Envy. Ooh. Son of a bitch. 
<clears throat> what voice can you do, Al? <laughs> you gotta what? double up. What do you want to hear? Uh, I mean, That's he's for walking. Cockney. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. <laughs> Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And try not to take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to the postmodernism of America, you're completely disregarding the context in which of in which a work of art is created. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Talk to Craig. Listen in on <laughs> Matt and Hugo. Uh, talk to Craig. Yeah. I feel like... Wait, hold on. Who do we want to go Yeah, who for? do we want? I don't think this matters. All oh, right. never mind. Then nothing matters. We'll flip for it. Where's my coin? Like, is there a part where we actually choose? Yeah, forget dad book. Oh, God. Ah, uh, yes. Dad book. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, listen in on Matt and Hugo. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> that kind of comparison just eliminates the reason the, the reason art movements are so important in the first place. You're not wrong, but I think there's no harm comparing one work of art to another. You could definitely say one painting is better than another if you're evaluating technical skill from a purely formalist standpoint. I have no idea. If I showed you a Matisse and then something by the Dutch masters, which one would you say shows more technical prowess? I am so lost right now, I shoot a worried glance over to Craig who returns it. Eh. Ah. Well, sure, you should say that the Dutch masters were technically more skilled, but I would agree. Well, I would argue that while the Dutch masters were better painters, Matisse had, a bit, had better paintings overall. It's like you're talking out of your ass. It's where you keep your watch. Ha ha ha. dead. Heart is dead. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Well, that's pretty subjective. We should save the Heart emo stuff for... <laughs> but we're sad. <laughs> we're handsome and sad. Listen. You know what? Maybe we should find out next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what were you gonna what were you gonna say? If you can sign a urinal and call it a self-portrait and sell it for millions of dollars, art is dead. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!